Greetings, my name is Andy Carter and I'm the lead developer of RAS2FIM. In this video I'll demonstrate running the provided sample data with the RAS2FIM scripts. From the Amazon Web Service S3 bucket I have downloaded the required national data sets. Additionally, I've downloaded the sample dataset folder. The input Iowa folder contains a HECRAS model provided by the Iowa Flood Center. Within Anaconda, I have already created the ras to fim environment. In an Anaconda command prompt, activate the ras to fim environment by entering Anaconda space activate space ras to fim Ensuring that you are in the SRC subfolder of the clone repository, run the Python script ras to fim with the dash H helper flag. Now let's execute the script. Type in python space ras to fim dot pi dash w and 101702204 for the subject huck8 watershed dash i and the path to the folder containing the hecras files dash o and the path to write the output files dash p and the projection of the hecras file using the epsg designation dash v and false to note that this HECRAS model is in metric units, dash n and the path to the downloaded national dataset inputs, dash r and the path to the installed HECRAS application. Note that if the optional terrain flag is not set, the routine will fetch terrain data from the USGS 3DEP terrain service. When successfully entered, a series of seven scripts will execute. The first script creates shapefiles of all the HECRAS files in the input directory. The second script conflates the HECRAS models to the National Water Model Stream center lines. This is accomplished by setting points on the National Water Model Streams and snapping to the HECRAS models. As an input source terrain was not set, the third script will fetch terrain from the USGS in HUC12 pieces for the subject models. The fourth script will convert the terrain to be compliant for use with HECRAS. In the fifth script, the bulk of the flood inundation mapping is made. While the script is running, you will likely see several HECRAS computation windows pop up. This script creates the synthetic rating curves and flood inundation map libraries for each conflated national water model reach. The sixth script simplifies the rasters to be in compliance with USGS INFORM standards. The seventh script computes metrics comparing the terrain utilized and the HECRAS models to provide guidance on the accuracy and usability of the created FIM products. Let's take a look at the output generated for this run. In the output folder, there are five subfolders. The first folder contains the shape files of the HECRAS stream center lines and the cross sections of the provided models. The second folder has shapefiles utilized to conflate the HECRAS models to the national water model streams. It contains lines representing the national water model streams and points along those streams for the subject HUC8. A polygon layer of the HUC12 watersheds containing the provided HECRAS models is available. Layers of the provided HECRAS streams and snap points to those streams are also provided. This was utilized for the conflation to the national water model. A CSV file suffixed with stream underscore QC contains information regarding the conflation to be used in subsequent scripts. The third folder contains terrain geotiffs for HUC12 basins. These are projected to the input HECRAS models reference system. The fifth folder contains the desired flood inundation map libraries and synthetic rating curves. Folders are organized by HUC12 and then by National Water Model Feature ID. For each feature ID where a simulation was successful, there is a depth grid, HECRAS, and rating curve folder. The rating curve folder contains a graphic and a CSV of the reached average depth synthetic rating curve. The HECRAS folder contains the truncated HECRAS model matching the feature ID. The depth grid folder contains the flood inundation rasters for each depth step on the rating curve. In this example, the file suffixed with 18 denotes a reached average depth of 1.8 meters. Note that raster values in the depth grids are reported to either decimeters or tenths of feet. By design, there will be some overlap between adjacent feature IDs. 
Back in folder 5, there's a CSV file titled Terrain Stats. This file contains important metrics regarding the suitability of the depth grids as determined by comparing the HECRAS cross-section point data to the underlying terrain. In this example, the mean and median difference between the HECRAS model and the USGS terrain is less than 1 centimeter. Additionally, the standard deviation is about 8 centimeters. As such, these mapping results are deemed suitable. For brevity, this example was run on a single HECRAS model. However, these scripts were built to run on hundreds of HECRAS models provided they are in the same Huck 8 watershed and created in one coordinate system. Again, my name is Andy Carter and I appreciate your interest in getting started with RAS to FEM.